प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स ऑन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो बिकॉज ऑफ माय इमरजेंसी वर्क्स आई वाज नॉट एबल टू मेक सम वीडियोस प्रॉपर वीडियोस इन द पास्ट वन ईयर आई एम फ्री नाउ फ्रॉम हियर सो यू विल गेट कांस्टेंट वीडियोस इन प्रॉपर ड्यूरेशन सो एटलीस्ट आई विल अपलोड वन वीडियो पर टू डेज सो दोज हु आर नॉट एट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स ऑन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टॉपिक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू डिजाइन द जी प्लस फाइव स्टोरी बिल्डिंग मॉडल बाई यूजिंग हाई सिस्मिक जोनिंग कंडीशन in stat pro v8a software so this is complete about the uh, how to apply the seismic loading condition system and how to analyze that particular structure and how to design that structure according to uh, is codal provision standard okay so firstly i will show you the model which i was already done uh, by using stat pro v8a software so click on the stat pro software here so this is the model i was done here so i was taken some uh, plates and some uh, frame sections which is uh, exist in horizontal direction vertical direction as well as that z direction condition also okay so for this structure i was taken the beam size which is of uh, 0.35 cross 0.23 and column size is 0.35 cross 0.35 and slab thickness is approximately equal to 150 mm so now after applying the uh, property conditions we need to uh, apply the uh, load condition system so this is the important step in designing part of any kind of the structure so for that just i am selecting here as load cases details so here in this case the particular building of g plus 5 story building model which is located in high seismic zoning condition just i am assuming here okay so uh, depending upon our consideration just we need to take the uh, inputs okay so for that initially we need to apply the seismic loading condition so for that initially i am defining that so click on the define option select the seismic loading condition click on add option so here in this case we are taking according to is codal standard system so here i am taking is code so click on generate option so that it will ask you to select the uh, zone factor according to uh, definition of the problem so here i am taking the zone which is a zone five seismic condition which is having seismic coefficient value 0.36 so this is a special rc movement resisting frame just i am selecting here and all general building with the medium soil condition click on generate option so that the properties will be developed here like this so here i am adding the the damping value will be a 5 percentage not 5 so it will be obviously 0.05 so click on add option so after that we have to add the sulfate condition then after that we have to add the uniformly distributed load which is comes under the wall load condition system which is the sum of the external wall load internal wall load as well as the parapet wall load so which is equals to approximately 23.4 kN per meter okay so i will uh, i was already explained this uh, how to calculate the wall load condition system uh, in manual method so i will provide you that uh, particular video in the above code link you can watch that video from that from there for calculation of that particular load so here i am taking directly as 23.4 kN per meter so click on add option so then after that we have to add the floor weight condition system which is approximately equal to minus 2 which is acting at a distance of 3 meter y direction condition system as well as the 16 meter as the sorry 18 meter condition system click on add option then after that we have to apply this particular uniform load for the beams for that go to select the beams parallel to x condition again i am selecting the beams parallel to z condition system assign to selected beams assign option yes option so now we have to uh, assign the wind loading condition just i am selecting wind definition option here from this so click on add option so add here close here select type one wind one click on add button so here i am selecting not as per the custom grid space so i am direct, directly generating according to ac7 so click on this so here i am selecting the code and which is comes under the category of fourth category with 44 meter per second intensity value so i am selecting here as exposure condition is b click on apply then after that we have to enter the main building data according to statement which is given for the problem so here i am taking uh, length of the building is approximately 21 and width of the building is approximately equal to 18 meter as well as the uh, sorry width of the building is 18 meter and wind along the length direction will be of 21 height of the building is approximately 18 meter so after that we have to select the apply option now we have to select the building design procedure at per, uh, as per wind uh, word direction only click on apply click on okay now we have to click on add button so after that we have to add the exposure condition as one click on add close so now we have to select the exposure one assign to view option just we have to assign to all the members here like this so now we have to def, uh, define this load cases so now we are here only we are defined the load 
name then after that we have to define the load case details also so here in this case first load case will be comes under the at quick load in x direction condition system eq x click on add again in the same process just i am adding eq y just i am adding here click on add option then after that i am adding the wind loading condition system so wind x again in the same process i am adding wind uh, sorry y condition system let us consider so now i am adding dead loading condition system d l option add button again in the same process we have to add uh, sorry live loading condition system just i am adding here live load condition system ll add button close option now i am selecting earthquake load in x direction condition we have to add the seismic loading condition with intensity of x as 1 click on add button close option again in the same process just i am selecting y direction so here in this case select the seismic as z condition with factor as 1 click on add click on close option so again in the same process just i am selecting wind x direction select it as a wind direction condition system which is of regular building and windward direction with the factor as 1 again in the same process i am adding the factor as minus 1 in opposite direction in the same process we have to select the wind y direction click on add option so now we have to select the wind load which wind direction as z with factor as 1 click on add button again i am selecting direction as minus 1 click on add button close option so now we have to define the dead load condition click on select option here so again i am selecting self at condition system initially then after that we have to apply the member loading condition which is the summation of the all the uh, wall load condition which is of minus 24.3 kN per meter uh, in gy direction which is acting here click on add then after that we have to add the uh, floor load condition which is related to the marble sand tiles which is laid on the slab so which is having at a distance of 18 meter uh, maximum and minimum will be of 3 meter click on add option close option now we have to assign this question marks for the building so by using assign to v option yes option for the self weight condition so for the uh, wall load condition we have to select the uh, beams which is parallel to x condition system again in the same process we have to select the beams parallel to z condition system okay now we can see the beams are selected which is parallel to x and z assign to selected beams assign yes option so after that we have to select the live loading condition system which is related to the floor load condition system so here i am selecting floor load which is having the intensity will be approximately equal to 2.5 to 5 kN per meter square depending upon the condition so here i am selecting minus 3 and which is at a distance of 3 meter as well as the 18 meter click on add button close option so again we have to add the load combination system for the particular structure so for that just i am selecting load case details option click on add button again i am selecting auto load combination as per the indian standard codal provision for the general structure not for the steel structure so click on generate option click on add button click on okay option so now we can see all the loads are uh, combinations are generated here now we have to do the analysis process go to click on analysis and design click on add button close option analyze option run analysis option click on save option so now we can see it was doing the analysis process for the particular structure so now we have to check for the zero errors for the model if the model is obtained with zero errors then we can directly proceed with the designing process the model was obtained with zero errors go to post processing mode option click on done option apply here click on close option so this is the deflection diagram for the particular structure in order to see the shear force diagram we have to click on the fy value this is the shear force diagram again in the same process this is the mz value this is the bending moment diagram for the particular structure so after that we have to design the structure according to high seismic zoning condition system so for that go to modeling click on design so here in this case we have to select the concrete so we have to select the is codal provision system of 456 click on select to parameters initially we need to deselect all the parameters from this parameters we need to pick important parameters like compressed strength of the concrete yield strength of the main reinforcement yield strength of the secondary reinforcement maximum main maximum secondary like this okay click on okay now we have to define this uh, parameter properties so for this case just i am entering here as 30000 m30 grade l concrete provision again i am selecting 500 grade steel 500000 click on add option again in the same process section enforcement just i am selecting here as 500000 click on add option select maximum main as 20 mm diameter bar click on add secondary reinforcement as 12 mm diameter bar click on add option close option click on commands option select design beam command click on add button design column command click on add button slab element command click on add button take off command click on add button close option so now we have to assign this question marks for the structure go to select fc 
assign to view assign yes option go to select fy mean assign to view assign yes option again we have to select the section enforcement also assign to view assign yes option why because these properties are same for all the building structural models okay so again the same process maximum mean just i'm selecting assign to view assign yes secondary assign to view assign yes option A design beam we have to select the beams parallel to x direction as well as the z direction condition system here okay so assign to selected beams option assign yes option select the column go to select beams parallel to y direction condition system click on assign option click on yes option again in the same process just i'm selecting elements so go to select this uh, so plate element option select all the building assign to selected beams assign yes option so after that we have to go to the analysis and print again add here close option here again analyze option here run analysis option so again we have to check for the zero errors for the designing also so if the model is obtained with any kind of the errors in the designing process the process which is obtained for the designing is uh, not correct so we have to repeat the process for getting the zero errors okay so this is the main important point we need to keep in mind now here you can check here the model is obtained with zero errors here go to post processing mode option click on done option here again again deselect the deflection diagram select any one of the beam from this just i'm selecting here click on the concrete design this is the concrete design for the particular structure which is consisting of 6 bars of 10 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section okay again it will be consisting of 3 bars of 10 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section it will be consisting of 12 mm diameter bars of 8 numbers which is placed at a distance of 120 cm to cm distance for the particular beam in the same process we have to select the column just i'm selecting the column here now we can see it will be consisting of 12 number of 20 mm diameter bar which is of having 1.84 a uh, ast percentage and ast requirement is 1813 mm square okay again in the same process we can check the output file which is related to the stad output file for the building design so this is a stad output file for the building design it will be consisting of all the designing considerations according to is codal provision standard system so in my upcoming videos i will explain you how to reduce the warnings and how to read this particular output data for our real time projects okay so if you have any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for the respected questions if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon for more interesting updates in civil engineering topics thank you